she's given me advice on, on whether or not I should do it on the show. Um, like when we start filming season six, or if I should mm -hmm. go ahead and do it now, because I'm kind of concerned about being, being super hormonal, dealing with all the stuff yeah. in the office. <laughs> so obviously so much happened with Christine on season four. We don't know what's going to come in season five, but how has your relationship with her developed at all in the time that's passed? Has it at all? No. We don't really talk. No. Um, you know, again, I wish her... Uh, I wish her the best in life. I want her to be happy and do her thing. But um, I think I think it'll be very clear in season five why I've just taken a step back. Um, there's been a lot of changes, um, actually, even in the office, where I, when we're in the office, I have to be hands on and I and I talk to her. But um, but outside, personally, um, I, I keep my distance. Are you hinting that you took on a management role in the Oppenheim group? I'm, I'm not hinting anything. You have to watch season five. Okay. <laughs> I had to ask. I had to ask. <laughs> I, I don't know what, well, I don't know what's happening, but I do, I do, Jason has asked me to talk to Christine um, in the office though, so. Got it, okay. Can't wait for season five. Uh, <laughs> So where, in terms of like your personal life, have you and Romaine had any more conversations about having kids? What's your status with that? Yeah, we are, um, we are getting ready to freeze our embryos. I feel like I've said this for about the past two years and, and I just keep procrastinating. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm still up in the air if I want to have another baby or not, but I, I know that I don't want him to lose out on that opportunity. So um, we are gonna freeze the embryos. We've had a consultation with the doctor going in for the testing and stuff. Um, but we just have to have, find time to do it, mm -hmm. which is very difficult because you have to go in, like give yourself shots, go in like every day. Like, uh, I, and that's, I think, part of the procrastination. If I can't even go in, I'm too busy to even go in for, for the testing portion of it, how am I going to take care of a kid right now? We have to slow down um, before. And I, I think it maybe within a couple of years, we probably will. Um, I, I really don't want him to lose out on that. And maybe within a couple of years, I'll be ready to not take on so much. And I know Heather's going through a very similar experience. Have you guys talked about it? I know she's been very open about her, her experience. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, we have, she, she's given me advice on, on whether or not I should do it on the show, um, like when we start filming season six, or if I should mm -hmm. go ahead and do it now, because I'm kind of concerned about being, being super hormonal, dealing with all the stuff yeah. in the office, and, and it makes you blow and stuff like a lot too. And I'm like, eh, am I really gonna? Do I want to deal with that on the show? Um, but you know, I think it would be good for for viewers too to watch along. I, if 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 production wants to wants to follow along with it, otherwise I'll probably do it on um, social media and allow um, if fans to be kind of follow along that journey, because I think a lot of people go through that now. Um, there's yeah. so many people that, you know, we wait until later, it, it close to our late thirties and forties before, um, before we want anything, because we're just very career focused now, most women are. So, um, I think it's very, uh, relatable and something that people would um, like to follow along with. So I'll, I'll make sure people get to watch along in one way or the other. When the time's right. Yeah.